So in the 10th chapter, Krishna explained how he is behind all the manifestations in the material world. Krishna gave a full description to Arjun of how Arjun can see him everywhere in the material world. Now in chapter 11, Arjun said, you gave me the audio version. Now I want to see the video version. So Krishna displayed the universal form to Arjun. And in this universal form of Krishna, it said that it was so bright that it was equal to a thousand splendid suns. In this universal form of Krishna, Arjun could see all the species of life all the demigods. In this universal form, Arjun could see past, present and future. And in this universal form, Arjun could see all the warriors on the battlefield of Kurukshetra heading towards their death. Now one may say, Arjun was already seeing Krishna. He was already seeing the wonderful two-armed three bending fold form of Krishna, why did he ask to see the universal form? And the Acharyas commentate that the reason why Arjun requested Arjun, uh, Arjun requested Krishna to display the universal form is to reinforce and cement without any shadow of a doubt that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is very, very significant. Because in the world today, there are so many people who are claiming to be God. Recently, we've been traveling around the UK, and I was in Norwich, 10 days ago. So we were distributing books, and I stopped one gentleman, and I showed him the Bhagavad Gita, and his eyes became very big. He said, Bhagavad Gita, wow, amazing. And I said, yes. And then I just began to describe Krishna and his teachings. And he said, but you haven't heard. I said, haven't heard what? He says, you don't know that Krishna has come back. And I said, really? <laughs> and then he said, haven't you heard? And then he reached into his pocket and he gave a flyer and had a picture of the man on the front and he said, Mogi Baba, Krishna has come back again. And then below it had the philosophy, Mogi Baba's philosophy, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> the most amazing thing that it wasn't a joke for him. For him, it was real. He actually believed that this person is Krishna. And this is not a new thing. In India, every day, new Krishnas are coming. And so many people are claiming that I am Krishna. They say India has the biggest export industry. They export the maximum number of incarnations of God than any other country. So in the 11th chapter, Krishna shows Arjun the universal form. And by doing this, Krishna establishes his position as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Krishna teaches us that we shouldn't just accept anyone as God, simply because they can do some mystic, uh, perform some mystic activities, or do something that we cannot do, or they know something that we, don't, we do not know. God has to have more qualification than simply that. God is not so cheap. And therefore, in the 11th chapter, Krishna is displaying the universal form to show how actually He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead because the whole universe is within Him.